Let's go ahead and work out this problem. So we're going to find the probability distribution and expected value for this random variable x. So let's consider the following card game with the Wall Shuffle deck of cards. Now, if you're not familiar with deck of cards, I do have an image for you here. So let me just put it right underneath. There you go. So this is the deck of cards. So we know there are 52 cards in an ordinary deck. So now let's see what we have here. So if you draw a red card, you win nothing. If you get a spade, you win $5. For any club, you win $10 plus an extra $20 for ace of clubs. So here you have uh, spades. So that shape is spades. This is heart. Then this is diamond. And this is clubs. So these are the four suits in deck of cards. And we know there are 13 of each. So you can see you have numbers two to 10, ace, and then J for Jack, and then Queen, King. So there are 13 of each. And with that 13 of each, uh, you have two suits that are red. So this is the red suit. And you have two suits that are uh, black. So these are the black suits. So X is going to be the amount of money you win in this game which means we can let x represent winning amount. So what are the winning amounts? Well, x can take values as uh, nothing, so which means zero. So if you get a red card, you win nothing, so zero dollars. If you get a spade card, you win five dollars, so five dollars is a win. If you get any club, you win ten dollars, but if you get a spade, spade uh, ace card um, club, you win 20 additional dollars. So clubs are right here. There are 13 of them. So if you win any club except for the spade, you win $10. So that can be a value of 10. So you can get any card except for that one. And if you get that card, you win 10 plus a 20, that's $30. So these are the number of um, values our random variable x can take. Now we're going to create what are the probability corresponding to these values. So let's find the probability that you win zero dollars. So that means you get a red card. That's what the problem says. If you get a red card, you win nothing. And how many reds do we have? Well, we have 13 hearts and 13 diamonds, so that's 26. So probability of x equals zero is 26 out of 52, or that's one half. Now let's go ahead and find the next one. What's the probability that you win $5? Well, you win $5 if you get a spade card. So that's what it says here. And how many spade card do we have? Well, there are 13 of them. So that means the probability of this is 13 out of 52. And just keep on going this way. So the next probability we're looking for is winning $10. So you can win $10 if you win clubs. But if you win ace of club, you get additional $20. So there are 13 clubs. And so remove that one because if you win that one, you get additional $20. So that means we have 12 clubs. This would give us 12 out of 52 if you win any clubs. And then the last probability is well, how would you win $30? Well, if you get this specific card right here. So if you win this one, which is a club and an ace, you get additional $20. That is only one option out of 52. So these are the probabilities for these corresponding uh, random values for the random variable X. Now we put this in a table and that's what we call probability distribution. So here's our table 
for winning. So winning amount. So here we're gonna make a row for all the values X can take, well, X we know can take $0, then $5, then $10, and then $30. And what is the, pro so the next row, you're gonna write there corresponding probabilities. So for zero, we know this is the probability. So that's one half. And for $5, this is the probability. That's all. Uh, 13 over 52, you can write it as one fourth, simplify it if you want to. And then for 10, X equals 10, that's the probability, 12 out of 52. And this is the last one for $30, one out of 52. So this is what we call a probability distribution table. Now, once you have the table, then finding the expected value, in this case, it's expected value of this variable X, it's pretty straightforward. So you pretty much take your uh, value of the random variable multiplied by its corresponding probability. So the expected value for this random variable X is going to be X1 times probability, its probability plus X2 plus its probability times its probability, X3 times its probability, and the last one, X4 times its probability. So you can call this one x1, x2, and so on. So this is x3, x4. And underneath we have their probability. So for the first one, zero dollars, the probability is a half. And for five dollars, the probability is 13 over 52. Plus for ten dollars, the probability was 12 out of 52. And the last one, $30, the probability, one out of 52. And then when you put this in your calculator, you'll get about $4.12. So that's the expected um, uh, value of this distribution.